we're going to be looking at Brownian motion. It is named after the botanist Robert Brown, who viewed under a microscope pollen grains in water. And he observed that the pollen grains were in a constant state of motion and that motion was random, that's in different directions and jerky. So they were continually changing directions. This diagram is showing you the random and jerky path of a single pollen grain. So Brownian motion provides evidence that the molecules of a fluid are in a state of constant random motion. The pollen grains are continually being bombarded by the lighter water molecules. And as the water molecules are moving randomly, at any given time, a pollen grain is likely to receive a bigger impact force on one side due to all the water molecules than on another side. And so the pollen grains will continually change directions, giving rise to this jerky motion. Brownian motion has also been observed for smoke particles suspended in air when viewed under a microscope. The smoke particles have a jerky motion and that's because they are constantly being bombarded by the randomly moving air molecules. Also we observe a small net movement of the smoke particles and that's because you have a large number of air molecules that are bombarding the smoke particles from all sides. Another observation is that the smoke particles are continuously moving. That's because the air molecules are continuously moving and continuously bombarding the smoke particles. And finally, we can see the smoke particles under the microscope, but not the air molecules. So that's implying that the air molecules are too small to be seen.